Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Blubberbutter, and today I'm going to be playing Troll? Trail? 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 Um, I played it just a little bit, uh, yeah, as you can see there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and run in and... It, 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 I wasn't originally going to record it, but it's actually a really, really cool idea. The idea of the game is, um, it has itself labeled as stealth, and I know you guys know that I love stealth games. Uh, any indie stealth games i found that could run on my computer, I've played on my channel, and I, I just absolutely adore stealth games. This is kind of like a stealth game, but in an opposite sense. You see, see the enemy there? Your goal is not to see them. This is what happens when you see enemies. And you run away. This could kill you. Your goal in the game is not to see them, so it's like an anti-stealth game. You're, uh, trying not to see enemies. So I figured some of these puzzles out. Um. So there's that. Oops. And, uh, the goal is to collect, uh... Collect those, um, these th Oh, you can't see my mouse in this. Uh, th that scroll down on the bottom left. You're supposed to collect a whole bunch of those. I think there are 12 of them. The enemies aren't too much of a threat at first, because... Well, number one, you just don't look at them. Number two, even if you... even If they touch you, you'll die. And I don't think you're supposed to be able to understand those scrolls right now. But, uh... It's just... I, I, I like the game. I thought it was really cool. So I played it longer than I should have if I was going to record it, so it's not much of a reaction, necessarily, at this current moment. But, uh... Okay, that was close. But uh, it, it's a really cool idea, guys. It really is. This is actually very difficult. Oh, my head flew off. And uh, there was a demon whisper. Nope. Ah! I was doing so well. No, I wasn't. Not really. I mean, I wasn't doing poorly, but certainly wasn't doing well in the traditional sense. All right, this is what you have to do, and it took me a long time to figure this out. So uh, you guys are lucky. And that I've already figured it out, so I don't have to waste your time figuring it out. As typical with these short games, you can also use them as a walkthrough of sorts. Uh, oh, well, no! They still, I don't remember that happening before. I thought if I died, I just went back to the start, but I have to do it all over again. Whatever. Okay. The sounds are also really good in this. Oh crud, I forgot about that. That's li literally what I was just trying to avoid. Alright, there we go. And, uh, all's well. Right, I'm trying to collect all those things, so, uh, here we go. Uh, the sounds are really nice in this, I like it. Now, it does kind of get a little old after a while since there's, like, no variation. But, seriously. This is pretty cool. Yay for me. Okay. And, uh... Does he go all the way down? I can't remember. Good. So I'm good. The spikes will kill you, obviously. Now here's the thing. You are, you're you're supposed to go straight up, and I missed this entire section of the game, because I found out that uh, if I did that, I could get over here and grab that. So, I'm gonna die. I was gonna try to die. There we go. Anyway, I will get that in due time. Right now, I'm going to try to go up here so I don't miss it. Oops. That was awesome. I mean, I hope I'm... I, I hope I'm not missing something by going this way. Oh, I can still see them through that. I can touch them, though. Alright, there we go. And toss him. Am I supposed to hit a switch or something to change that so I can get through these things? Well, huh. Maybe I was supposed to go the other way. I was. Okay. Well, I just wasted a whole bunch of time then. Oops. My bad. Huh. This whole time, I... Th hmm. 
So you were supposed to do that? I thought I was being clever. Oh man. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's how I do it! That is how I do it! Okay, cool! How do I break through this, though? There we go. Awesome! Well, that was just a random flu- like, I, I guess I wasn't supposed to figure that out, but I'm really uh, happy that I did. No! Wrong way! Right, let's try to go diagonal. Oh, I can see through these, I forgot. That doesn't actually help, though. Dang it, this isn't helping. There we go, okay. This is getting annoying, but it's okay, because I've got it now. Awesome. Did I miss anything else back there? I think I did. That is that is awesome. I didn't I didn't know that. So I guess I get so terrified that I'll just smash through walls or glass, whatever. And uh, is that the only thing I missed over here? Pretty sure. Anyway, so uh, apparently that's what you're supposed to do. Did I miss anything else? I really hope I didn't. Yeah, those things are pretty terrifying. But I've never been up this way, so I'm gonna see what this is. I don't even know who I am and why I'm down here, honestly. This reminds me an awful lot of a Flash game I played a long time ago called Don't Look Back. Uh, just just, just the animation and uh, atmosphere. The, the game itself was totally different and had nothing in common with this. At all. Okay. I might have been able to get through this now. Finally! Jeez, that was annoying. Oh, that was awful. There we go. Nope. Alright. Now I should be good. Back on track. And, uh, this game does get pretty intense. And very difficult. It's, it's not quite a rage game, but it's definitely very difficult. Um. I really like it, though. I think it's perfect. The atmosphere starts out awesome. It does get a little old after a while because it doesn't really change. I wish I could see my inventory. That is the one thing I will say. I'm pretty sure up is the way I'm supposed to go. So, uh... No! Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I thought I screwed myself over there. Wow, that, that worked out a little better than I expected. And this thing, yes. You found the blindfold. I don't know why I can just close my eyes, but... Because you see, there's nothing you can do to get out of here. Except when you wear the blindfold. Unfortunately, when you wear the blindfold, you can't see anything. You can still die, but uh, you can't see anything. I did that perfectly. Wow, I did not expect to do that on my first try. It took me forever before. Does it do anything if I just leave it on? wonder if I can. Okay. This is going to be a little trickier. Okay. Alright, and now... Crud. I thought I did pretty well, though, considering. Aren't I awesome? Tell me I'm not awesome. Well, actually, I am joking, and uh, please don't tell me that I'm not awesome. 
All right. It's not too hard from this point. I need to wait for him to pass. And then walking back, it's really not that different. And now I have to get out of here. Which still isn't that hard. Let's wait for him to pass, though. Dang it! That's okay, though. Managed to get there anyway. There we go. And this, this is the ending. Oh no, I missed one! Oh! Uh, dang it! <sighs> well, I didn't see this section, so I guess that's where I missed it. Here we go. Alright, finally there, got all of them. There was also a medal for getting it under 10 minutes, but thanks to some stupidness, I don't think I did. What happened? Oh. What? I am one? Okay. Guess I didn't get the 10 minutes one, did I? Oh well. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and get that one on my own, but still, wow. Okay, well, I mean... Yeah. Here's... I, I like this game. I really did like the game. But what I have to say about it, a lot of people... Okay, 24 seconds too late. Dang it. Ah. Uh, Anyway, um, what I have to say is that a, a lot of people think that having you turn into the monster at the end is a good, scary, creepy way to end a horror game, and it's not usually the best ending. It, sometimes it just comes across as kind of cheap because it's been done so many times. I kind of felt like that came out of nowhere. Uh, just, oh, yeah, you're the monster. whoop de doo that, that, like, that, I don't know. It didn't seem that phenomenal to me, personally. Uh, but I did really, really enjoy the gameplay, and that's really what matters most, uh, I highly recommend it. I'll have a link down in the description below. I've been playing this for half an hour, though, so I need to stop. Uh, thanks to the rage game-like tendencies of the, this kind of game. You know, I have, I have a lot of editing to do because I've, I've had this recording for so long, so I'm going to go get to that. Uh, I will say I wish it was just a little less frustrating because I, I, I do enjoy puzzle games, but if it's going to be a rage game, it needs to advertise as a rage game, and it's not really. Uh, but with that, I'm going to stop. You all have a great day. And I, Mr. Blubberbutter. We'll see you later. Bye.